So last night I headed back to Portland. Um, I was supposed to meet with a few people today to sell stuff out of my storage unit. Uh, two of them were no-shows. Another one wanted to schedule, reschedule for tomorrow, but he was kind of flaky and I don't really trust him. Um, and my allergies are just insane. I, my, my whole body is so uncomfortable and like everything itches so bad. It's, it's, it's like painfully uncomfortable. It's, it's really gnarly. Um, taking allergy medicine, but it, it doesn't really help. And when, it, when I start adding irritating stuff on top of that, I'm just not, not really having a good time. So I'm out of here. <laughs> I just saw some really cool train tracks. So this is a uh, this was a railroad that went to Tillamook, which is on the coast, that was shut down a long time ago. The the mountains were just too rugged. I don't know if this is safe. Is this this cable looks like it's still are these walkable? This one seems to be okay. Maybe I'll just keep my hand on this cable just in case. This one's a little rotted. Oh, I don't like this. I don't think I like this at all, but... Maybe I should go down to the, one of those lower ones. It's also kind of taking my mind off of how irritated I am right now. Oh God, dude, I do not like heights. These boards seem like they're fine though. Oh. Oh, this is scary, dude. This is really scary. <laughs> I need to get a, a camera that I can like mount to my body. I think this is cool, man. I think, uh, I, think I get the idea. There's a nice little stream down there. That's cool. All right. Yep. I got the I got the butt pucker factor going on now. I think uh, I think I'm gonna move on to the next interesting thing I find. Every once in a while, I gotta take out my blankets, and shake off the dust, and all my shed hair. <laughs> Rearrange it. I've been meaning to do kind of a deep clean on this thing for quite a while. It's good to uh, just go through everything and kind of organize it. One good thing about being in town is I was able to get some uh, some stuff um, put in storage. All right, so got the uh, got the deep clean done. It feels good to have everything just organized and where it goes. I feel like I was kind of like. I don't know, just on edge with everything out of, everything's gotta be in place. I was thinking like one of the ways that I think um, van life helps people with depression is you can't lay in bed all day for multiple days. You have to get up and do stuff. And it forces you to be active and get in your head. And it gives you time to do stuff that you enjoy. like. Honestly, the only thing that's ever helped me, and I, I was in therapy for years, I've been all kinds of different meds, all the all of it, none of that helped me. Actually, it made it worse, because I felt like it was even more of an alien, and more of, you know, permanently broken, and nobody could ever love me, because I'm somehow on not the same level as everybody else, and just feeling broken. The only thing that ever, it made it worse, but the only thing that ever helped was getting out into the woods by myself. And um, going on hikes and, and being physically active and away from the, war the, the real world. We got some ladies. Look at this little doe. Yeah, you're a cute one. You're a cute one. Munch, munch, munch. Oh, uh, here's another uh, railroad bridge. Whoa! Awesome old schoolhouse. Check that out. So we're pulling into the town of Vernonia now. It's a really cool little uh, little timber town up in the mountains out here. Here's the downtown. There was a, a couple movies filmed here. There's the city hall. I forget I forget which movies they were though. I think one of them might have been a Twilight or something. I don't know. All these cool little buildings. It's just such a cool little mountain town. 
vibe. I have a uh, coworker, or I did, when I worked at Guitar Center that lived up here. There's a True Value. We got a little puppy. Look at that little pup. Oh, that's a cute one. Little yellow lab. Reminds me of Lily. Let's check out this bridge. Nice. We got a little abandoned building over here. This is a good area for finding abandoned houses and buildings if you like to photograph that stuff. Look at that thing. Gnarly. There's a ton of them down here. I'll show you a couple of them, but I don't want to make that a focus. These blooming trees are like my greatest enemy. I am starting to feel way better as far as the uh, allergies go though. It's, uh, it's just being around that stuff just doesn't work with my body anymore. Look at this magical grove of oaks. I grew up in the country kind of like this. One of my fondest memories is being out mowing the grass. I, I remember being out, we had a gray craftsman lawnmower. I remember being out in the sun and uh, I don't know, it's one of my best memories. Just mowing the grass, one of the most simple, boring things ever. I'm not gonna go in this house or anything like that. It's private property and it's super dangerous. Uh, I just wanted to show it to you guys. Check this out, we got a good old fashioned Grange. And this is the old schoolhouse, built 1908. Here's a little uh, wagon shed. A lot of the houses in here are very um, uh, low income and run down, but there, there's really only like, I don't know, 20 houses in this town. There's like t probably 20, something like that. A couple of them are all right, but yeah. Look at all these singing nettles. So I saw this little stream. I was driving by and saw this house up here and it just looks awesome with that sunlight on it. So I'm gonna get some uh, photos of this thing because it looks awesome. Man, I would love to be able to restore a house like that. Here's the Birkenfield Church. Looks like they're doing quite a bit of work on that one. That one too, wow, they're kind of restoring this little area. It's a cool country house. Ooh, I like this little red one. It's quaint. Another big house with a shop up there. Oh, here's the general store. Check that out. The Burke. And they are definitely on a team. Look at this whole thing. Oh, wow, they had a mural up there at one point. That is, oh, we got a couple more houses down here. That's pretty much the whole town. That is a uh, that is a small mountain town. So the last three days have been uh, filming every day. We're gonna go up and take a look at this church real quick because it's it's so beautiful. I just man, I wish they wouldn't have chopped down all these trees around it. It really takes away from the beauty, but it is what it is. So anyway, I've been filming every day for the last three days. I'm gonna try to um, daily vlog for a while because I gotta get this channel back dude I don't even make enough money on YouTube now to pay for a single tank of gas I went from $20 a month to $60 a month and that is freaking awesome that is a 3x on um, on how much money I make in less than a month in two weeks that's pretty good but it's still I, I need like probably two grand a month and I'd be living really well because then I could eat out all the time and within reason and um, get into like, you know, go to museums and cool stuff like that and pay all my bills and not have to stress. But uh, I'll get there again. That's, it's funny, like I peaked and then I, I went, started going to work and got myself in debt and got stuck in a bunch of uh, situations that were not good for me. It's like right when I started to make it on my YouTube channel, I blew it. But I can get it back. I, I still know everything that got me there. I still have my like core, like there's like a thousand of you. There's there's a thousand people who support me and watch my videos. It's amazing. Like you, you guys wouldn't even fit in this beautiful old church. That's crazy to me. That's really crazy to me. But anyway, yeah, I gotta, I gotta get this thing back. I found 500 bucks the other night that I didn't know I had. And uh, that'll get me another half a month I don't think you can see through. I can see inside. I don't know if the camera can see inside though. I don't think so. Oh, <gasps> uh oh, this broke out. Uh oh, I gotta fix this or call somebody. I don't have tools. I'm not gonna go in cause that's like literally 
illegal, but jeez, look at that. They have the old gas lamps and that old gas, whatever that thing is. Wow. Ooh, somebody here? Hello? Something popped and made a loud sound. Oh my God, it smells so good in here. It smells like a sauna. Wow, look at that old organ, man. This is so freaking cool. That old stained glass window is still there. Unbelievable. Did I, I don't think I actually did that. These were, this was already like this. I do have to call somebody though, cause that's, I mean, that's, that's their lock. Anybody could break in there. Look at this nice creek. So I just pulled up in one of my favorite, it's not a ghost town, it's a, it's a historical town that has some really cool abandoned buildings. Uh, this one, the first time I saw it was, uh, I, I don't have a, a better word, but it was erect. Uh, it was fully erect. And now it is not. Uh, now it has pretty much collapsed. But I still like to stop every time I come through here and just, just keep an eye on it and see what's happening. Check out this old bed. That is really old. Everything's like covered in moss and kind of falling apart. So I think that this building, the bottom floor, had several uses, but for a long time, I think it was the general store. And the top floor was where people lived and it was at least three stories. Look at how the, the ferns are growing on the roof and just overhanging and all the windows are busted out. And it's got this like, um, it's kind of starting to, to twist and morph. It's kind of uh, like Tim Burton-esque maybe. And all the Spanish moss. Oh, it's so beautiful. I love it. I love this house. This view right here is it. All right, here it is, Jewel Cemetery, established 1897. Oh, here's the front. William James Ben Denver, born in Ireland, 1844, died in Jewel, Oregon, May 2nd, 1904, age 59 years old, eight months, 13, I guess that would be days. Wow. It's got like a dollar sign right here on these leaves. I don't know if you can see that. Died in service, 1918. Wow. Thank you for your service, sir. Eva Denver. Wow, 1859 to 1919. That's pretty old. I haven't rest in a while. There's some newer ones in here too. These are uh, unmarked now. This one's got a little wood thing on it. So these, wow. I like this guy. Oh, we got a buzzer, dude. I literally just, I literally just climbed down a cliff. But look at this waterfall, dude. So worth it. So absolutely worth it. So there's no safe way for me to get down there from up here. These rocks are just way too slippery. So I'll have to cross the, uh, I gotta get some waders or something and cross the stream at the bottom where I first was. Man, look at this. Even like this, this little view right here. I'm just gonna chill out for a while and just watch this thing. This is a spot I've been to before that's really cool besides the trash. So there's a little settlement up here with a bunch of houses. And down here is the ruins of a mill. And some very popular uh, birds. Am 
must have a little nest up here or something. They're really, really bothered by me. So I'm gonna get out of here and leave them alone. But yeah, I'm gonna head back to Astoria. I think there's like 20 more miles. There's another waterfall I know of on the way, but um, it's gonna be totally dark by the time I get there. Look at these, these steps. I love this. It's such a cool little spot. Made it back to Astoria. I'm gonna find a place to uh, park and cook some food real quick and probably call it a night. I think this video is pretty long, so I think I'm gonna call it here. Thank you for watching, everybody. See you next time.